Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mum and Dad Show. Claire's Candle is here uh, at the moment, as you can see. Pepper, what are you doing? She's she's, she's just, an assistant. She just tried to sniff and eat a wrench. I'm sure that she's part therapy dog. Yeah, she'll. she'll she follows need me around she like a bad on. smell. She, she does doesn't follow. need. Therapy. She needs therapy. This dog, no ladies therapy. and gentlemen, you. This dog needs therapy. This dog needs, she runs around like a mad mm-hmm. woman when we get home and we're trying to train her to learn the ways of the rules of this house and to learn that you can't just jump around like a mad woman. Pre-baby so, she could have, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but we because of Addie we need to calm it all down. And that's, when we're uh, walking up the stairs. Yeah, when we walk up the stairs she tries to run down them like a mad woman. Uh, so uh, you'll have to excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. Our voices are a little bit lower than usual because – this little fella, he's a bit upset. He's been a bit unsettled moment. today. And the reason poo. the reason he's upset is because just a couple of days ago, we were driving in the vehicle and Claire Gosh. spotted out of the window a man not wearing underpants. <gasps> oh, my God, the Asian dude. But clear, not clear, <laughs> see-through oh my God. shorts. Not see through. No, they were track pants. What were they? They were they fucking. Were, they what's were the like color? Nike gray track gray pants. track suit pants. And, and we you, saw the tip of his penis as well. You could see everything. It looked like a little mushroom. That's offensive and racist. Honest to God, no. Racist, no. racist, racist. Claire, you are a rapist. Don't start that, Jesus. Don't start that rumor, Jesus Christ. But I, I yeah. felt really quite offended. That's right. You I were felt aroused. Offended. I was aroused and oh. offended. You were aroused. But I saw this guy. We've just gone and picked up our chicken patties and steaks for the week and just then old mate's just got his fucking meat and two veg. Got his meat and pork sword hanging foul. I saw all of it. And how did you feel? Not good. That's how I it feel. It was weird. There's this girl at our gym and they all, wear the, they all wear the short shorts but this one girl – she Isaac's we- favourite. She wears these shorts that are so tight that she she bent over the other day and you could see. The brown spot? The brown spot? <laughs> what do you mean the brown spot? You know what the brown spot is. I do not and I do not need this Winnie the Pooh. Yes, you do. Get it um, away from the candle. Blanket please. that I have on me for some reason. Yes. Um, the, hang on, can you please let me know what the brown spot is? Caleb knows what the brown spot is. I know what the brown spot is. Producer Caleb, <laughs> you do not. This is this is an hour. How do I? Okay. The, your bum hole. Yeah, but why can I see it through pants? I thought that was the part of the joke. Mate, if you're seeing brown spots through like little shorts, then you've got some serious <laughs> issues. Like you need to wipe before you go to the gym. I just meant the shorts are that tight and that see through. That when little Betty bends over, you can see a brown spot. But you can just see too much of this lady and it's I confronting. I love it. No, you don't. You don't love it. I it's, love it. It's confronting. I feel scared. Like, because I feel like a creep. I've said this before on the show. Like, I feel like a massive Isaac creep. Isaac is a creep, though. I feel like a massive creep. And a racist. <laughs> at the gym. Standing there, just <laughs> minding my own business, trying to catch my breath after I've lifted the entire gym. Yeah. Yeah. And um and I've got this young lady, she's probably like thirty or thirty five, just Gee. bending over fire. Is it the one with the really short hair? Is that the one you're talking about? No. Oh who's the one with the short hair? That's one when I was at the gym pre Addy, I remember seeing her and she was nice enough, but I saw her brown spot too. Shout out to the ladies with the brown spots out. You matter. In the comment section. Remember, brown spots matter. Oh. Um yeah, no, I just I, I feel like I've seen too much of this chick. And she's there with a boyfriend too and she, she's she got this real tight sports bra on and she's got the big fake he's spilling out of the top and I don't know. Like there's nothing wrong with that. I just feel awkward standing at the gym. You get gym. to an age where you feel like a creep. I've always well. felt like a creep because I yeah. am one. But I, I, I know feel, what you mean though. I feel like I... I feel like a creep because I know a lot of the girls that wear stuff like that are like 20 and 22. Oh, yeah. And... I'm – the fuck was that? The dogs are doing something. I reckon they Was it the dogs? Up. Yeah. Fell sounded weird. Um, we just heard a big boom. Uh, either it was a UFO or Pepper. Pepper's um, on the roof again, Pepper's, naked. Pe- <laughs> Pepper, get off the roof. Um, She's fitted in nicely. She has. So, yeah, so I feel bad because I'm nearly 30. I'm 30 in a couple of weeks and oh, yeah. I've got these – well, I don't have these – I was gonna there say, are these young chicks oh, running God. around 
wearing nothing at all. They, they, you know how they dress? They dress like fucking Ned Flanders when he's skiing down the slopes in The Simpsons. That's how girls dress at the gym. All the one see, pieces? The, the, what is the go? Caleb, have you seen the one pieces? No. They do one pieces at gyms now. Okay. Oh. If, you, if you, let's test you out. Let, bring up on the, um, on the fucking uh, the Googles. Sasky. The, uh, is it Sasky? Sasky will have it. Sasky uh, one piece. Here we go. Swoot. Set. Good enough. There's one. This is what they wear at the gym. Wow. Go to um the that's us. We look go good. go to um oh god. Oh god. Um where are we? I like yeah. the green colour. Go up. See the green one? No, nah, but it's not that one. It's no, not the one not. next to it. They wear yeah, these, these one piece sort of strange active wear. They must have to tape their lips in to hey. make sure it's <laughs> it's conf- like Oh, that's is that even it though? No, they're just bolt. They're just nah. That's not it. Nah, but that's yeah. It's pretty the much. gist. It's that, but they're like backless as well. Yeah, that's a pretty yeah, good. Yeah. That's a pretty yes. good one. The, the and then strappy. they get the big side boob out too, which each to their own. I saw one chick yesterday wearing something with long sleeves, but nothing else. You know what I'd like to mention? Back to the guy with his fucking cock out. <laughs> like us girls are bad enough with the shit we wear, myself included. No, you're great. Harry Potter T-shirts with spew on them. Yeah, not um, bad. And that was before, Addy. But what about the gym bros that wear those stupid fucking so, the stringer the stringers. things? Nipples they've been out. around for years and they're still going. But we know that looks They terrible. look like they've been to jail. They don't. They're still wearing them. I've never worn one. No, thank you. I saw God. a fat guy once at the Prince on a Sunday. Wearing one. Wearing one. The Prince is a – I respect that. Is a ho- do you? Yeah. <laughs> it's a hotel here in Newcastle, a pub. Uh, and every Sunday people used to go, they used to be able to get $4 Coronas and $5 Cruises, and everyone who was anyone went there. I, I saw you there a couple of times back before we started I doing, don't think you doing the dirty. Oh, God. Doing the <laughs> <laughs> cover Atticus's ears. I remember going to the Prince. None of it was enjoyable. I had a great time there. I loved it. Yeah, because you were a dude. Yeah. For a chick to I go there, d- you got to just run away from all the fucking sexual predators. That's Hello. right. You do. you got to <laughs> dodge them all. They're trying to finger your date on the dance floor. Whoa, finger your brown spot. <laughs> not, the, not the brown spot on the D it's floor. It's true. There's just predators everywhere. You're trying to have your fucking raspberry vodka pish. Your vodka, coke and raspberry, it is. Claire. Oh, I never had that. Didn't you? No, I, I had have to vodka. make you one. I just had vodka and raspberry. And then when I realised how fat I was getting at the time, I went to the soda water vodka thing. What about solo and vodka? Who the hell did that at the footy or something? Lob, what was your um, go-to drink when you were a youngster? Well, you're only 23. Don't judge him, though. <laughs> what were you, what's your go-to drink? I, mean, I like keeping it cheap and going for the vodka raspberries, to be honest. Vodka <laughs> raspberries, you. fair enough. But VCRs, the vodka, coke and raspberry, that was the go-to when I was a youngster at the uh, at Fanny's. Uh, you guys never went to Fanny's, did you? No. Fanny's was this nightclub in Newcastle, which was la shit. It was so good. Um, and it's now Finnegan's, correct? No, no, it's now the Argyle. No. The old, yeah. Yuck. But before the argyle got done up, this is that got done up like ten years ago. Fanny's was what it was called, and it was synonymous with Newcastle and nights out and just drugs, ripping and tearing, sex, drugs, and cock and rolls because it was disgraceful. I never, I'll never forget one night we were the first mob there at Fanny's because we got kicked out of. Um, no, we didn't get let into Soho Bar on Derby Street in Newcastle because we were, there was too many dudes there in the bar. There were predators there too. There were, yeah, it was us. There was too many dudes. This is what the security guard said. Yeah, there's too many dudes inside, mate. No more dudes. So we we went to um we went to Fanny's and it was us and a couple of mates and I won't say the dude's name because he has a child now. Uh, it's not me, by the way. But he would every girl that would walk into Fanny's, he would applaud. He would applaud them as they walked in. He's like, "Yes, bravo, you look great," <laughs> and it was beautiful. It was the dodgiest, dirtiest, dankest nightclub you've ever seen. But it was a beautiful time. What a podcast! <laughs> it's just reminiscing on your bloody single days. Hey, there was nothing going on. I was, I was, I was very, I was <laughs> fat and alone, <laughs> and that was my single days. <laughs> But you were, a, you were a dirty nightclub girl for many years, Dickie. <laughs> what? You loved it. You loved dancing and shaking your fucking groove thing. <laughs> Didn't you, your, your horn bag? No. The only thing I loved about going out mm. was coming home. Yep. Well, we're, we're still like that. Oh, anytime I hate leaving leave, the house. Anytime we leave the house now, it's like, right, how can we get home? Someone's the, eyes are open. Oh, God. 
Oh, God. This podcast is going to be a short one. Addy does not want this show to go ahead. Oh, baby. He must know something. How, how, so Addy's 10 weeks old this week. 10 weeks old. And he started to smile a whole lot more. We were getting a bit nervous about the smiling, but then uh, because, you know, everyone's like, We Don't. take a while for people to warm up to us. You you and Addy? Oh, I'm, mate, I'm warm. I'll smile anywhere. Not at the gym at the brown spots though. Uh-huh. Um, not that I see colour. But the uh, but Addy, he's he's growing up. He's getting he's getting uh, burly. He is. He's his booty's hairy. getting bigger too. He's, he's getting chubby. Yeah, he's, he's loving uh, bath time as well. Which loves I'm really bath liking. time, and I love that he loves bath time because he stinks. He does before this stink. podcast. And you know what? I got a bone to pick with you, Dicky. I was waiting for this topic to come up. You don't want to hold his legs back <sighs> when he's pooed because you think it might hurt him. I saw a thing on Instagram and it was some lady saying that it can hurt their joints when you hold their little feet up like this to wipe their dirt box. But you gotta you got to wipe it. Otherwise I do wipe it, but I don't want to hold it. Otherwise his, the poo starts flinging. I hate holding his feet up and he's trying to move them around. So I'd rather poo just go everywhere and I take longer and clean him up than hurting holding his legs. No, you can't. You have to get in People there. People are going to come for me in the comments, yeah, aren't they? I hope so. I hope that Asian man with his penis comes for you. I that hope. really, that threw me that afternoon. It was a Sunday morning. We saw his whole dick through his pants. It's something about seeing a dick that's really confronting. I really do feel for I'm those. I'm so used to seeing nipples, though, on girls now. Oh. I've never seen a nipple hey. on a girl, personally. Hey. Should we stand up while oh. Daddy keeps going? Where am hey. I going? Ah. Keep running your mouth. Keep running my mouth for the show. Uh. What? <laughs> I want to talk about our Disney. Uh, Addy and I have a bone to pick with Disney. Yeah, well, we, you do have a bone Don't to pick because you guys have been watching a lot of Disney recently. A and lot. you watched the 101 Dalmatians. What else did you watch this week? Well, we watched that twice. Mm-hmm. Then we watched Lady in the Tramp. Ah, yes. I did, did you like Lady in the Tramp? You did like Lady in the Tramp, Addy. What are you talking about? Hey. Do you guys like wanna, and subscribe. Do you guys want to have a break and we'll come back to the show? Yeah. Well, you did, kids. Welcome back. Uh, Sorry about that, gang. Uh, we got a snoozy little Addy boy. boy is, he's a sleepy little fella, I tell you. He's such a good fella. Oh. Uh, he's just perfect. But, yeah, 10 weeks old. He Disney. has Disney. That's what we were talking about. Yes. So, yeah, so you've been watching a lot of Disney and Disney Plus is amazing. Like there's really so like many it. great shows for kids to watch on there. There's and a adults. pride section. There's a, oh, there is a pride section. I had a bone to pick with that too, and I love the gays. I love the gays. But this I isn't don't about get, the gays. I don't get why there's a pride section on Disney. Why is there a LGBTQIA plus section on Disney? It's weird. If I was gay, I'd find that offensive. I don't know. I, I don't I know. Just, I feel like they're just trying to be like too pleasy, people pleasy and virtue signally. Well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's yeah. a, look how virtuous Especially we are. Especially when it's meant to be kids watching it. Mm. I don't know. I know people probably come at me for saying that no, too, but I, I just think it's odd. Like if you think about the four-year-olds on there, are they really going to go, oh, there's a pride section and watch that? No, why? they're going to watch Madagascar. Why are they – Why are they? but they do this everywhere too. It's like why – But on Disney, like leave it be innocent. Like let, let it well, be. This is the whole thing. Let kids be kids. That's what I don't like. like I get it on Netflix and shit, you do you, but not on Disney. Fuck off. And this is the, this is the problem, right? So mm. gay, being gay is about what your sexual preference is. Which is wonderful. Which is wonderful. Go for it. It's the same with being straight. That's your sexual preference. We're Why? so boring though. What? Well, no it's doubt. So, it's so boring and lame to be straight now. It almost makes you want <laughs> to be bisexual. I do it. But it is. I don't feel included anymore. Not the way I do it. Being being straight is being stupid. <laughs> Why would you be straight when you can be gay? And well, you can get all the, you can get points. We're not cool now. No. At all. I remember the good old days where being straight was cool. Being white and straight oh, means you're a piece of shit. The good old days. Remember back in the Dizzy when being straight, white and being a man was the best thing you could be? Oh, take me back. Take, Take me, me back, back to, to gay. It's been, no, I, 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 I understand that they have to have a pride section because pride month is important because you have to have a whole month to, I don't know, celebrate people fucking each other. Wonderful. But one day for Anzac Day, one Father's Day, one Mother's Day, one Christmas, one you Easter. Get every day is Mother's Day and Father's Day and, and Anzac Day. All right? Gay as far people. as I'm concerned, every day is fucking Pride Day at the moment. Nah. Queer Eye for the Straight Guy gets one day, Claire. What about adoption days? One day for adoption days. 
All right? If I, if I, you know. I just think a month is a bit much. If I identify as a man in the morning and a woman in the afternoon, I need a month to celebrate. To figure it out. My word. Now, what we were picking the bone with with Disney was something that happened a while ago and it was uh, they started to have warnings at the start of cartoons. See, I didn't know this. So this came out maybe 10 10 months, 12, 18 months ago. Okay. Disney were, they had a lot of the reasons to be cancelled because there are some racial sort of stereotypes in Disney shows that aren't great and they treat, like in some shows they treat black people like idiots and all that type of stuff, which ain't cool, all right? Not no, cool. No, of course not. Um, now, rather than realising that, hey, that was made in the fucking 30s. Yeah. Like a lot of these Disney, like yeah. wasn't Bambi made in the 30s or the I think 40s? so, yeah. A long time ago. Mm-hmm. Rather than being able to, as a rational human being, and I don't think there's much racism in Bambi, although I did hear Bambi's mother scream the N-word as she died in that fire. Oh I'm pretty sure. Jesus uh, <laughs> Christ. Um, but why can't someone be so self-aware oh. or be self-aware enough to go, hey, it's all good. No one's going to get hurt by this. And if you do get hurt by it, don't then watch don't it. watch the fucking Disney cartoon. I just can't sort. believe it. It's for kids. Like I wanted to sit down with my son, have a cup of tea and watch 101 Dalmatians and yet this fucking warning came up and I'm going, Why do we what? need a warning? Why do we need a fucking was a, warning? It, like I'm, and I watched it like quite closely and there was no racial like undertones mm. at all in 101 Dalmatians. The dogs are black and white. Maybe it was Cruella de Vil. She's a white woman. She's not a white woman. She's a they them. She's French or something. Isn't She's she? a they them. I just don't get it. It's like it's for kids. It's just overcomplicating things, and I don't know. It well, just made me really sad that Disney's meant to be like this wholesome yeah. family thing, and then they're putting up these fucking woke warnings. It's, it's almost like kids are being introduced to politics far too early yes. in their lives when they shouldn't be. I fucking they should love just, what you just said. Thank yes, you, thank you, dear. Uh, they should just be. Kids, as we always say. Yeah, I have no issue with any of that for adults. Like if you want to put like the gay stuff and the lesbians, all that, you know, stuff. But also why is gay and lesbian, why are they in the same group as trans people? Oh, God, don't go there. I don't know. Like that's ridiculous. Why is some dude that wants to fuck another dude in the same like area as a person who thinks they're a different sex? I have no issues with any of that. Put it on if you want it on Netflix. But I just think, fuck, leave Disney be. For the demographic that's watching it, but who's depressed who's, adults like me and their child? Who's reading that fucking warning anyway? I read it. I paused it because it took my breath away. I was like, "Are you fucking serious?" That's for parents. And like, then it was on. Um, oh, what else did we watch? We watched a little bit of. Oh, is it on else? everything? Is that the whole thing? Is it anything s- that was old? All the classic Aristocats came on that too. Really? I know, and I'm there because there, is it because they're doing accents? I don't know. I, I don't, don't understand if there was some awful thing where they were like being awful to a dark person or to an Asian person or something. But none of the movies we watched together had anything like it was a French guy with a French oh, accent. I watched a couple of racist movies with Addy when you go to bed. Friday night footy. <laughs> Friday night footy, yeah. The Latrell Mitchell special. Yeah, he yeah, well, he doesn't like me. He can uh, get <laughs> fucked. <laughs> fat dog. Hey, don't call him fat. You no, that's racist. Apparently. Um, no, I just think he's fat. No, he is fat. That is uh, that is very true. But yeah, no, I, I think with the whole Disney thing, the whole the, the number one thing that all they're doing really is trying to appease a very small portion of yes. the population. And it made me angry. Leave you, it be. It's magical. You don't need to do. No, that. this is what people are like. Okay, so I wrote a video this morning about Bud Light, and Bud mm. Light uh, had Dylan Mulvaney, the, the old love. As uh, who is currently on day four hundred of being a woman on TikTok and and what and am she, I? Oh mate, you're not important. You're a woman. <laughs> you're a woman with white skin. Shut the fuck up. Now, I'll, now Dylan, uh, and I'll call her a she because it's the nice thing to do. Hundred percent. Right? Use people's pronouns. I think that's lovely. It's nice. Yes. Unless they carry on, then I'll fucking start God. throwing bombs. But um, <laughs> with Dylan, she. She's lucky she had that name actually because it can yeah. go both ways. If her name was Greg, she'd be fucked. She would be fucked if her name was Greg. There was Greg. someone on the news last night who was definitely a woman and they called herself Harry so that she could a, shut up. Yeah, that wasn't good. Um, so, yeah, anyway, Dylan uh, got sponsored by Bud Light. And what a brand deal. What a brand deal. And she's getting paid millions for wow. brand deals over, over over the last year and a bit. Now, she 
got given a can with her face on it. Now, Bud Light has lost nearly $15 billion of, of, of their valuation as a company since and doing stock that. since doing that because people are refusing to drink it. Good on them. Because they're like. Because it's a drink? Because they're like, who the, fuck, who the fuck do you think your audience is? It's a drink. They're like, no, we need to be more inclusive. So to we a get- drink. Exactly. It's a drink. Stop trying to be political. You're a drink. I can't deal with this stuff. I get it with politicians and all this, like, you know, important stuff. But does Coke and Pepsi need to be that fucking inclusive to you for you to fucking drink but it? Coke and Pepsi would have it's done It's delicious. Pop- Just drink it. I like Pepsi. I like Pep. What, what is it? I don't even drink wine. I, I drink, drink Pepsi. Pepsi. Sorry, yeah. Eddie. Mummy's getting fired up. It's all well and good to be, and as we are, we're extremely polite, lovely, and Everyone we should be inclusive everyone. unless you're an asshole. and assholes will be <laughs> not inclusive, will be racist, will be bigots, will yeah. be fuckwits, will be homophobes, everything. Everything. Now, and I've said this for a long time, I don't think there are people who are racist and sexist. I think they're just bad people. 100% because they're the same people that the would kick people. a dog or run over a cat or exactly. hit their missus or if hit their If you're someone who will punch yes. your wife, you're the same person to be racist to someone and uh, they just always because are. of a different skin colour. It's so true. It is so true. Oh. Now, um, in saying that, this episode is brought oh to you by God. Pride Month and uh, for Pride Month, Claire is going to do something very spectacular. Oh. She's going to pull a rainbow out of her ass. <laughs> Brown spot, make it go rainbow. Shout out to the brown spots. Uh, we watched a show last week, Dicky, all about different parenting tips. That was so good. What a weird program! It's on Channel Nine. I can't believe we're watching free to air TV. Well, we only watch it for maths and this. Yes, bring over, back maths, please. Ooh. And oh. over the last two years, that's all we've watched is maths, yeah. this, and probably the footy. And uh, anyway, so this show basically chronicles uh, several different parenting styles. Mm. So you got the helicopter parents, which Me. what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, like the ones that would probably like they watch over everything? tap their phone and check that they're not running away and you know, double check every, over oh, the track, top protective. Track their phone. Yeah, like overprotective. I've already put a chip in Addy. I love that idea of tracking your kid's phone. Yeah? Yeah, I bet William Tyrrell's parents wish they did. Hundred <laughs> percent. Put a fucker in there. You bought the phone. <laughs> what is it, the air tag? Somebody put all the vaccines they pump into the kids. Shove one of them in there. Throw their an face. air tag in there. Yeah, that should be because when you get when you're born, you get hit with a vaccine straight away. At least throw an air tag up his ass or something. Hundred percent, not under up the, his under bum. the tongue. Addy has something to say. Snoring. Um, Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think at a certain age you should probably have a tracker on your kid's phone. 100%. If your kid has a phone, put a tracker not, on it. Not to. I'm not being a creep. I just mean for pedos and all these yeah. awful things I, that I guess it's can nice, happen. But it could be, you, you could use it too much. You could be freaking out too much. And I think people would argue maybe you should just let your kids go off and just do their thing. And get kidnapped. Well, I don't think Addie's going to get kidnapped. I'll tell you what. Maddie McCann's parents should think she can get kidnapped. <laughs> My list keeps going. Maddie McCann. Ladies and gentlemen. Maddie McCann is actually Meghan Markle. That's what? a conspiracy that I've just made up. Oh, They're the fucks. same person. Have you ever seen Maddie McCann in a room with Meghan Markle? No. <laughs> I can't. Have you? Prove me wrong. Doubt Prove, me now. Doubt me now. Maddie McCann never died. She oh, just she became was so beautiful. Oh, that story's fucked. They, they came back and well, why they did they leave him with someone? The kid? No, they just left him asleep in the hotel room. Surely they left. I think they left him with a. I think um, nannies and that were roaming the hallways. I think like we need Harry to Potter. plug the computer yeah, in. Yeah. Producer Caleb, we burp. 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 we um we talked about it before the podcast. We're like, ah, oh, no, nah, we don't need to plug it in. It'll be all right. We definitely do because you know why? Because my MacBook. Um, yeah, I've got a MacBook. Out me now. Uh, it uh, it's fucking batteries fuck because I leave it plugged in all the time. So I'm just uh, freaking out because. <sighs> Go, Caleb. Use your speed. Fuck, he's got nice hair. I'm trying. It's so shiny. Bah, well. I feel good after that vent about the Disney thing. Mm. I really, it was really bothering me. Because we were having such a wholesome morning. Hello, Pepper. We still co- we still recording. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, sorry. Why dare me? <laughs> Without me now. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, so there's um, so yeah, so there's heaps of heaps of different parenting styles. There's helicoptering. There's gentle parenting. Gentle, gentle parenting is the ones that's pissed everyone off. Mm. What have you got to say? Because you want to be a bit of a gentle helicopter. <laughs> I identify as a gentle helicopter. Fuck me. What do, what do you want? What do you I think like, about the helicopter? No, sorry, the gentle parenting. I like aspects of it because. From the philosophy of gentle parenting, the kids aren't afraid of their parents, which I think is really nice. Yeah, you don't want to be afraid you trust of them. them. Yeah, you don't want to be afraid of your parents. No, like, that's not cool. Like, what you don't have kids, so you can. Scare I was them. terrified. Yeah, you don't want that. No. Why would you want to be like if you're going to have a child? Why would you have them to, so that they could just be scared of you? Yeah, I think I think there's aspects of the gentle parenting I really really like. I think the super sweet ones about like no hitting and trying to not you know, raise your voice and explain things. But I also think a lot of it's a bit stupid. Yeah, I've been. A lot of it's a bit over the top. I've been really sort of implementing not oh hitting God. with Addy. But Throwing I, him against the drywall. No, I've used jiu-jitsu with him and I keep beating him. Um, he's just so easy to get in kimuras with his little hands. Um, leg locks too. I've blown his knee out. But, yeah, I, I agree. I think there's a. Fine line. You, I don't think I could be a gentle parent. I think you need to have – You need, totally is. You need to crack it. You totally You need to crack it occasionally. You totally like when Addie's up crying in the middle totally of the night and I scream at you, I no. say, shut that child up. You're such a gentle parent. I'm not a gentle parent. You totally are. So good. There'll be no participation awards in my house except for Addie. I'll He'll make one on the printer. Yeah, I'll give him one. I'll be giving for, him a participation. participating with dinner. I think you should get one when you're in primary school, like when you're in like um, kinder and like year one. And then after that you're on your own. For what? For participating. I'll give Addy one. No other kids That's what one. I mean. Can you imagine losers. him coming home? What if he's like, you know, I, I wasn't good at sports. So what if he's, you know, a bit like But he's mama? got my genes and I was a sportsman. Apparently. <laughs> I was. A Isaac s- was a squash champion. Did you know that? Squash. He was. I was. That. He was. <laughs> he was a squash champion. I went to the Olympics for squash. We all know. We're all very impressed. Squashed your pussy. No, that's <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Um, actually, my grandma was a squash champion. <laughs> that is actually true. That is actually true. Shout and out I, to Denise. Yeah, she gets the shits when I talk about it. I don't know why. She bragged about it. Get over yourself. I went to state running. I'm going to toot my own horn. You were a very fast runner. That was my only achievement. No, you had heaps of achievements. No, no, that was it. You got me. <laughs> you got me hook, line, and sinker. Very true. That, you must be pretty stoked about that. Did we have? I'm sure we made a note. There was something else I wanted to talk to the people. Or you want to talk, tell everyone about your beautiful new hair? I think they know about my haircut. You got a new haircut? Yeah, I got a mum do. Got Caleb mum, noticed. Thank got you. A mum cut. So what I happens when you cut. get a mum cut? What do you? What changes in your life when you've got a mum cut? Well, it's easier for me to wash my hair. And it's not pubing out all over the place. You do have pubes flying everywhere. And I think because my head's quite big, I think I suit Mm. a shorter haircut. I've noticed that your head has grown. Has not. Since you hit 20K on Instagram, you've just been walking around. You, No one sends me anything. I send you dinner every night. I know you do, but I was thinking about this the other day. I remember before I had my Instagram, Instagram, Mm. the big account. Mm -hmm. I'm joking, by the way. She but, calls it her famous account. Yeah, the famous account. <laughs> Go and follow Claire I remember, at Little Dixon. I remember Claire. thinking if someone had over like 8,000 followers, oh, I bet they get sent heaps of shit. Mm-hmm. I have not had one person, you know, probably because we're just heaps racist, but I haven't mm, had one person <laughs> DM me and be like, babe, we really want to send you these track pants and this tooth whitening for them. No one's offered to send me shit. I didn't get anything either. And yeah, it's fact. I remember once I got sent a yeah. vape that had like, Special, I remember that. Special, like, vitamins in it. Oh, God, what a load of shit. What a great way to get your fucking vitamins from a vape. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you did get sent that. Oh, the ice bath? Yeah, that was really cool. That was for Shout a out to them. Shout out to Odin Ice Baths. I, I'm, I'm loving Pristine. my ice bath. It's the best ice bath you can get. And someone tried to shame me on, uh, on the Instagram post. I put up a video of me in the ice bath and they go, mate, You've lost touch with your common man. That's a six thousand dollar ice bath. Twelve thousand. Actually, twelve thousand. Um, but and I wouldn't have paid for it. I wouldn't. They, you would now after using it. Oh, it's so good. It's changed my life, mate. It actually has. You have really enjoyed. My it. My feet have grown six inches. I did it once, and I am now Miranda Kerr. 
Is Miranda Kerr even good looking anymore? Probably not. She's probably not relevant. She's like forty five years old. She's not. She is, and you look. You know, you look like Dylan Mulvaney. You look like a cross between Dylan Mulvaney <gasps> and Lizzo. You look great. Look brave and sexy. <laughs> actually, I I would like to. Isaac, I have an idea. Ashley. No, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Put in the comments below what, what Claire celebrity. Looks like. Michael Jackson cross Steph- Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Steffi. Who? That you so suddenly a Staffy. You, you don't look like a Staffy. <laughs> there was a comment on one of our YouTube videos the other day and they were like, little, little Dixon doesn't look that fat. Yeah, you don't. And I was like, and I, gee, thanks. And I stand by my comment. You don't look that fat. <laughs> no, Claire looks great. She's killing it. You're back to your, you, you're lighter than when you were. Born? You were lighter <laughs> than when you... Uh, by a few grams. By a few grams than when you first became pregnant. because I don't have time to eat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. It's so true. And then at dinner time I'm just like... <laughs> I'm like Kirby and I just night. suck you up everything. You threw your burger out. I had one burger though. I had one burger and I found the other one in the <laughs> bin that I made. Not the bin. I made that burger. It was next to one a pooey nappy from old Shits McGee over here. <laughs> That's what you think what of my What a fun cooking. podcast. Isn't it nice when you don't have negative energy in the room? I love this podcast. It's mm. a great podcast. Addie loves and it too. And big shout out to uh, Caleb who is our um, the lobster who is our new producer the on lobster. the show. The lobster. <laughs> Why would you call him the lobster? Because how he spells his my name. My name's spelled real dumb. It's K-O-Y-L-O-B. It's not Lob- spelt it's actually, dumb. It's actually been my nickname since I was a baby. Oh, lobster. Okay. Lob- lobster. Lobby. Lobby. The Aww. lobster. The mobster. The mobster. Aww. The lobster. <laughs> the lobster mobster. Well, he is the new producer of this show. He's a great Welcome man. Welcome aboard. And uh, he, you can see some of his finest work that he's done with the channel. Uh, the um, Overthinker. Yeah, that's his Instagram, Overthinker. But yeah, we'll do a little shout out shout for out him. Yep. Out. Yep. <laughs> yep. But Don't hit on him. He's taken, ladies, yes. and I'll punch you. I'll oh, fuck you. Oh. Yes. Uh, he's, uh, he's worked on the uh, Average Man series with me and the uh, Big Cat Hunt as well. And Peachy by Rose. And he shot some photos for Peachy as well. So, uh, yeah, he's a good man. He's part of the fam. So you're Part like, of the ship, part, part of, of the, the crew. crew. Thank oh, you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on the Mum and Dad Show. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much to young Atticus. Atticus, thank you for joining us and not crying for the mm. entire episode. But uh, bef- before the episode, you were carrying on like he was a kicking pork off. chop. Poor Bubba. I can't, mate. I tell you what, when he grows up and I'm an old pensioner, I'm going to shit my pants that much and he's going to have to clean it. I'm going to love every second of it. Addy, shout out to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week. Toulou of Go and check us out on Spotify as well. Bye. 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 Noot, noot. <laughs>